my name is anish malik and uh, today in this video tutorial i am going to show you how to implement a background refresh uh, it is very important things uh, when we doing any background method when a uh, watch goes on background we know that when we move our hand it automatically moves to background so we we need something that implemented method on a background so today in this tutorial i am going to show you how to implement that uh, we are going to use this method schedule background refresh this is one of the method given by an apple so let's move and uh, implement this uh, i'm i'm using the same projects uh, which i used in a previous uh, video by passing by communicating between iphone to apple watch so if you haven't seen this video i will provide the link below just follow that and implement this so let's begin i already taken the button over here set background and uh, <clears throat> i have link with this button set background refresh let's move and implement it Uh, let's define date if you see over here they have given a parameter with preferred date so we need to set at which date or time it should trigger so let's take it time meter for one I will set for 10 seconds 10 second because uh, we need to test out that's why wk extension the shared schedule refresh background refresh okay so let's put date over here uh, there is no need so put nil now to handle the error we need to do this if error ignore if error is not that so we will get that the schedule is set okay now let's call this method done so uh, you here you see that i have set for 10 seconds after sec after 10 seconds it will trigger a background method uh, uh, you are wondering which method it will trigger if you go to extension delegate you will see this background background task so this method it will trigger over here so i will show you how to implement this okay let's do this let's print it out so we can know whether it is triggering or not okay okay let's uh, let's test it out So this is previous previous project we did before in uh, we did before you can see in a previous uh, we can see in last video I created this so let's uh, set a background I already set put their watch on the background you can see after 10 seconds whether it is triggered or not okay you can see background get triggered so now let's let's test it out again what i am going to do if letter v w is equal to w k extensions shared i'm going to call the trigger method again after 10 seconds
different picker. Okay, let's run it. Set. Let's put app on the background. Now let wait for 10 seconds. Okay, you can see a uh, background get trigger and also set for another 10 seconds. So next 10 seconds it will again trigger. Set trigger. Set trigger. So it will repeat continuously. So any important method uh, or any handle, any method we need to handle on the background, we can do over here. So it come. It is very easy to implement in Apple Watch so let's uh, hope you like this video if you uh, uh, if you like this video please like it enjoy it implement it and please subscribe the channel and also please uh, check the previous video I have implemented uh, communications between between Apple Watch and uh, iPhone you can see that uh, you can communicate from watch to iPhone and iPhone to watch. Hope you like this video. I will come up with another interesting video on Apple Watch, iPhone and other technology, other applications or other languages. So hope you like it. Bye bye. Thank you.